need FIFA coins, check out the FIFAshop.co.uk. What's up guys and welcome to the 39th episode of the 7 Minute Squad series on FIFA 15. Now with the turn of the year, I actually said I'm going to improve this series and be a lot more consistent. So, as you guys know, current squad is going to be in every single episode um, and we have now got this hat. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell is this hat doing? Um, basically, it's going to be a challenge hat. So, in this hat, there are a load of different challenges that I have to do. So, for example, if I don't finish the team in time, I have to splat an egg on my head, I don't know, or I have to give away the most expensive player in the team, give away the value of the team, eat Vegemite, drink two pints and play a game of FIFA, just random crap like that. And, um, I think hopefully it's gonna it's gonna kind of give the series a bit of a, a twist. So that is what we're gonna be doing. Hopefully um, we can uh, get something good in our first pack because there are some premium jumbo packs out, and I would love to get a good player. It's as simple as that. Right, let's go ahead straight away and open the first pack and see who we're gonna be building our hybrid around. So we managed to pick up Cas Casares. Um, so not too bad, not too bad. All right, we'll store this in the club. I reckon, I reckon we can, you know, build a nice team around. Well, there's Casares there. We do actually already already have him in the club. Um, so, sorry, I do apologise for that ridiculous noise. Um, I don't know if you've actually you actually heard it, but we also get Chupo Moting. Um, do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna discard the rest of that pack and go ahead and open another pack for our second player. Um, and then we're going to dive in to that hat and see what kind of challenge we get. So, what do we get in this pack? We managed to get Handanovic. Alright, that is not bad. We also get Arne Herrera, um, who actually would be quite a decent player to go ahead and use. Because it's something different. Right, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Arne Herrera. Okay. I'm going to use Arne Herrera. And then also Caceres or whatever. Um, so, let's go ahead and quick sell them remaining items and if you guys remember from the last episode uh, we actually are going to be going through the formations just like just like that so basically um, this is going to be the formation that we're going to be using for this episode or actually for variations of formations I might just use like one of them kind of thing maybe that would work better hmm would that work better or not I'm trying to think I reckon <sighs> It probably would, to be honest, but, yeah, um, no, we're going we're gonna to go, we're going to go with this, we're going to, we're going to stick to this, okay, um, right, okay, so we have got Caceres in this, uh, right centre back spot, come on, where is he, da -da -da -da. and then we have also got, who else were we going to use, ah, on Herrera, okay, so this should be, this should actually be quite cool, you know, it's something different, and um, I'm hoping we can build a pretty nice team, to be fair. I reckon we can. Under Herrera is going to be a nice little twist on it. We've got a Mexican link in there. You know, we can kind of do whatever we really want to. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get this hat and uh, see what kind of thing we have to do. Also, the challenges are if I lose the match or if I don't finish the team in time. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of like saving myself a little bit. So, here we go. Looking the first one is going to be... Okay, so the first challenge is, I don't know if you guys can see, but basically it says sell your best player if you lose. All right, we're going to try and zoom in on that. There you go. Sell your best player if you lose. And um, yeah, hopefully we don't, <laughs> we don't lose because I was planning I've got 1.2 million coins and I don't really want to lose. I don't really want to have to, you know, sell my best player. Or, well, basically what that means is just give it away, um, the value of the team, so, or the value of the player. Right, we're going to go ahead and get this timer up and ready. Let's move on to the transfer market. The timer is going to start in three, two, one. There we go, the timer has started. All right then, so we need to have a little look and see if there's any Mexican players in the Serie A that we could use. I don't think there are. Um, but it's always, always worth a double check. Right, Mexico, no, there is not. Well, okay, first of all, we should probably look at any any player that's Mexican. Okay, so, Marquez, okay, that, you know what, he's actually a decent player. He's not that bad on this game. If you look at his stats, he is actually, 
Not bad. Alright, so we're going to buy him now, assign him, and then we're going to store him in the club. He plays four. Okay. Hellas Verona. Alright. Um, untradable item. Okay, well, we'll just quick sell that. I don't really care about the untradable item. Right, now, we're going to have a little look at the right back for, the, for Hellas Verona because I believe there's like a. It might be like a Brazilian right back, which is half decent. No, I must be thinking of a different team. <laughs> um, damn it, that's a bit frustrating, isn't it? Okay, right, this team basically must. Yeah, it's obviously a low end Serie A side. Nothing against it, of course. Um, but we're going to have a little look and see what other kind of players they have in that team. Obviously, Luca Toni. Um, well, Lopez, he's actually not a bad player. Not a bad player at all. Okay, so it's evident that I'm probably not going to be finding another goal player in this team. It's as simple as that. So, yeah, I'm probably best looking elsewhere, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, that's probably what I will be doing. Let me have a little look and see the goalkeeper quick. Hold on. Goalkeeper. Okay, so there's Raphael for the goalkeeper spot. We could add him to the transfer targets. I could go ahead and buy him because it would mean that... Trying to think about this, the logic in what I'm trying to do. Um, okay, so we've got. Okay, right. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna go Mexico, Mexico, and have a little look at some Mexican right backs. Okay, there's gonna be a load of silver ones. I know that. 86 pace, Navarro of 91 pace. Maybe we could switch things up a little bit and get some, you know, get some lower rated players in here to kind of, you know. Maybe change things up and see if that would work. Alright, we're going to go with that 91 pace guy, I reckon. We're going to go with him. Why not, you know? We need to have a bit more diversity in this team um, in regards to using bronze, silver and gold players. So, we've got a centre mid. A centre mid. Alright, so a CDM. Let me just have a little look uh, in the Premier League. Let's have a little look. Premier League, where are you? Here we are. Okay, Premier League. Um, we're going to go FC Porto and have a little look at some CDMs that we could potentially use. Casemiro um, is one option. Well, he is kind of like the only option because I need a strong link for Ander Herrera. That's my main kind of focus. Um, right, we've got 3 minutes and 57 seconds left. We're going to go to the squad quickly. Okay, so Casares has got a link there with Marquez. Um, and then goalkeeper, if we did buy Rafael. That probably would be the best option, I'm not going to lie, to use Raphael. And then, um, yeah, get like Evra left back. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do now. We're just going to get that over and done with. Okay, so let's go back into the Serie A quickly. Serie A, Juventus, and then we can move straight to the left back spot. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy Patrice Evra. Okay, so Adam's actually, I'm just going to buy him because that just looks like an average price for him. And I've got too many coins anyway. Right, okay. Sense card, place and transfer list. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And then we also need to go ahead and buy that goalkeeper that's Brazilian. Silver. Um, and he plays for Hellas Verona, doesn't he? Okay, so Rafael, 750 coins. Happy enough to buy him for that much. That's only 750 coins. You get that from a game. Okay, two minutes and 50 seconds left. Right, we really need to get a move on now. And... Um, yeah, get on with the rest of this team. Okay, so if we went now and CDM Mexico, yeah, let's do this quickly. Mexico, um, CDM. Oh, I don't want. I don't necessarily want the silver guy. I would prefer to have a gold. Okay, so there is Dos Santos here. Now I'm gonna add him to the transfer targets because I do have him in my club in a centre mid role, um, and he plays for Villarreal. Okay, so let's go there, centre mid. Mexico, Liga BBVA, come on, Liga BBVA. Okay, oh, I've got a decent enough idea, actually. I do have a decent enough idea. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and try and do is buy this Dos Santos for my left set the mid roll. Now, you're probably thinking I'm absolutely mad, but I'm actually not because this guy, you know, it, that left set the mid roll is kind of like a left midfield. And he will actually work pretty well there. So I'm going to buy him for my left centre mid roll. I personally think that's going to be a really, really good player for us. Um, and then centre attacking mid, we are going to have to go ahead and move to the Premier League. Shit, we need to kind of think about a little 
little thing that we're going to be able to do here. Okay, Premier Liga, um, San Attack in mid, FC Porto. Let's do this quickly. Come on, come on, come on. FC Porto, San Attack in mid, Brahimi. Okay, uh, Quintero, Cameroon, Cameroon, Colombia, Cameroon, Cameroon, Colombia. Okay, what we're going to do, buy Quintero, assign him now. Come on, come on, come on. And then what we can also go ahead and do is go striker. Um, oh shit, I've got a good, I've got a decent enough idea. Liga BBVA, come on, come on, come on. Liga BBVA, uh, striker, and it needs to be a Colombian striker, doesn't it? Come on, come on. Striker, we're going to go and buy backer. Okay, assign now. And then we're also going to go ahead and buy Martinez, okay, from the Premier League. Now, I'm not, if there was any Colombian player in the Premier League, this guy would work. He'd get, he'd get full chemistry anyway. So, um, yeah, it's just unfortunate that they all play for the same kind of team, which obviously I don't really want. But, or we can buy Moraine Montero. Well, I'm going to give that up to you guys. You can, you can choose, if you build this team, to use Montero or uh, Martinez. But I'm personally going to go with Martinez. I'm going to actually also buy Montero because I think he will actually fit quite nicely in the team um, as well. Once I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm basically going to set it up, okay, and see what I can do. Um, so let's go into the squads now. We've finished the team in time. Let's go and have a little look at and see some of the players that we've bought and see if this team works out. Okay, so Raphael, centre back there, is gonna be Marquez. So let's go ahead and find him. I'm gonna try and do this all live. This might be quite cool to do it all live for you guys to see. And um, it's gonna be kind of awkward if the team doesn't get full chemistry and it's live. <laughs> that would be not great um, at all. Right, okay, so centre mid. Right now we have got that Dos Santos guy. Come on, come on. Um, do you know what? What would probably be better if I just searched for it? Right, okay, Vela there, Baca then. Where is Backer? Backer is actually back here. Okay, there we are. And then Martinez. There we are. Quintero as well is going to be our centre attack in mid for us. Let's move. What we could do instead as well, if we really, really wanted to. Um, oh no, we couldn't actually. I, yeah, I apologise. We can't actually do that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go. Well, basically, we don't have the certain players in our team, so I am actually going to cut the clip now. And um, actually, do you know what? Let's just continue this. You guys can skip this if you don't want to see this. Um, but do you know what? Okay, Navarro there. Let's go ahead and pick him up. Store him in the club. And let me know if you prefer this. Let me know if you want to see me just do this, like, you know, just all live all the time. This It might be quite cool, okay? So, transfer target, uh, Dos Santos now. Let's go here. Come on, Dos Santos. And buy him in a centre mid roll. Okay, so De Santos. Wow, okay. So we're going to have to go ahead and buy him in a centre second mid roll. That's not bad. 3,600 coins. That's a lot cheaper than what we were going to pay for him. Okay, I already had him in my club, but he was a striker position. So, um, yeah. And do you know what? I'm not even going to risk not having a centre second mid, centre mid card in my club. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy one now as well. But... Whilst um, I'm actually, you know, buying these cards, let me know in the comment section below right now uh, what you guys think of the team. I think it's something a little bit different. I know selling my best player, none of these players are really expensive. I never once had that in my mind when I was building this team. I can be completely honest um, with that, like being genuine there. Um, that never crossed my mind. So, yeah, hopefully you guys, you know, understand. Right, right back Navarro. There we are. And then we have got gold, centre attack mid. We have got Giovanni dos Santos as well. And we're going to apply that centre attack in mid. Centre mid card on him. And we actually already had one in the club. Right, okay. So, that is the team done, isn't it? That is the team done. We are going to apply a positioning card to this guy. Um, centre mid CDM. Do we have one? If not, it doesn't matter. The team gets full chemistry anyway. You can see he would get full chemistry. A lot of these players actually get 10 chemistry. Um, and that's nice to see. So, we're going to have a little look at the team. We have got four leagues in this. Um, 
We've got the Serie A, Primera Liga, Liga BBVA, and then we've also got this bronze guy who is from the Mexican League. Um, so, yeah, we're going to move into a game now. I reckon we can do pretty well with it. I'm excited to use it. And I think, you know, it's something different. It's something different. And also for this, because I'm nice, I'm going to set the bar at 100k. So if I do lose this match, then I'll give away um, 100k on PS3. And that is just not going to work, is it? He's just used the same... Same kit as me, um, but yeah, I'm gonna give away 100k on PS3 and 100k on Xbox if um, I lose the match, which I reckon, I reckon we're gonna win. I'm gonna be confident with this. I, I'm, I'm feeling confident. I reckon we can do well. So let's have a little look and see our opponent then. So Wellington, 79 rated, 100 chemistry. Um, he has got basically, obviously, a full box of Premier League side, but there's a big but. He has three. Centre backs across the, th the th well, he's, he's basically using a three back formation. And the three defenders are all very, very, very slow. We've got Bakra Martinez, two pretty, pretty strong players, and we've also got Carlos Vela, um, who can, well, sorry, De Santos, who can cause you know a lot of damage. So we're going to see, hopefully, what we can do here. And I reckon, I really do reckon, uh, we can go on and win this match. So many comments recently. Um, about people saying, oh, he's negative, he's got a negative record on FIFA, all this. But the reality is, I never play with the same team for more than one game. And not many people really understand that. And of course, I've conceded there, but it doesn't matter, we're going to win the match, I can tell you that. Um, I'm confident, I am confident. Right, and, and, and yeah, it, I don't know, it just frustrates me because I can bet any money at all if, if, if the people that were saying that, if they played a match, just one match, and changed their team for every single game that they play on FIFA, they would 100% not win every single match or like not win the majority of their matches. And it is very frustrating for a YouTuber to see that sort of criticism all the time um, because, you know what, I'm actually not that bad of a FIFA player. I'm just like a normal FIFA player, just like everyone else. Um, I never really play to win. I try and get the best goals I possibly can for you. And yeah, I don't know. I just find it a little bit frustrating um, at times. It is a little bit annoying. But there we go. We've got the 1-1. One, one. Uh, Martinez does get the goal, which is pretty nice indeed. Here's on the score sheet in the 13th minute. So we've got two goals pretty early on. Go on. Lovely, lovely play. Dos Santos, he has to finish that. Surely, how has he not finished that? I went straight across the goalkeeper. I don't know if his accuracy was was too great there, but you know what? It's it's not too bad. Go on. Oh, what a ball that is then. Go round him. Go round him. Oh, f what? That oh, my God. Oh, man. That is so annoying. I hate it when they do that. They, like, slide across the ground. You know, bottom left. Get on the rebound. On What the hell, backer? Oh my god, that was absolutely awful. That was just the worst piece of play ever. Go on. Has to be now. Has to be. Attack the ball. Pen. Every day of the week. That is, that's pretty, that's a pretty classic penalty. Penalty shout there. Right, I think it was Danny Alves as well which caused that, as you can see here. Oh no, it's Sandro. Wow, they look really alike, to be fair, on this game. And everyone's going to say in the comment section, what are you on about, mate? But... I personally think they do. Go on. Top left, mate. Do it justice. There we are. We are ahead before half-time. And uh, I think that's going to be a good sign of things to come. I think we're going to take away this match now and really just go on and finish it. Nice work. Oh, brilliant stuff. What the f Flipping hell. What is going on? That would have been a really nice goal as well. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, even better work now. Go on, that's got to be... Right, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on right here, but our players aren't thinking very well and making nice decisions for us. <laughs> even though we're getting in some really good, good positions and such. Right, oh, brilliant ball, brilliant ball. That should be him going through on goal. Okay. Marquez, go on. Strength is key. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, it's going to be a goal, isn't it? It's going to be a goal. Wow. Okay, so that looked like a foul to me, but it's fine. Apparently, you can trample over players now and get away with it. All right, here we go. 
Here we go. Oh, that's right. Ah, oh, again, almost. Just, it's always almost with me. It's just like almost. Um, but yeah, it looks like I have to sell my best player. Well, give away the value of my best player. But obviously, it's going to be um, 100k on PS3. Well, 100k. 100k on PlayStation and 100k on Xbox. So um, the way I'm going to be doing this is you guys have to follow me on Twitter and I will put up now, literally right now, I'm going to put up and I'm going to use the hashtag Jack54HD. Basically, you guys just have to guess a number between 1 and 5,000 uh, and then I'll pick two and make sure when you say the number that you say whether you're on Xbox or if you're on PlayStation. Please make that evident because I need to choose a winner from Xbox and a winner from PlayStation. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. If you enjoyed the video, then smash that like button. That'd be absolutely amazing. Um, my favourite player in the team has to be Martinez. He was just a gem. Um, I would have liked to try and use, Mo you know, Montero, but you know that's going to be called for another day. Um, I reckon, I reckon we did a decent job with this team. And um, I'm absolutely gutted that we didn't get a result. You know, 15 shots, 10 on target, 54% possession, 82% pass, uh, pass accuracy. Yeah, fairly disappointing, but you know what? That happens in FIFA, and um, you've got to deal with it, haven't you? And I think what I'm going to do, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see me start, you, you know, um, playing tournaments instead of seasons, because... Obviously, if I play tournaments, it will go to extra time and we'll actually get a proper result out of the match um, rather than draws all the time, which is somewhat, which is somewhat frustrating. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button right now and peace.